Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the Smith Knowledge OTG Ski Goggles. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO85. So I started looking into ski goggles this last winter uh, because I ride my bike year round and when I ride in uh, weather that's cold enough for me to be wearing like a balaclava or a scarf or something like that over my face to keep myself warm, um, the sunglasses that I wear, uh, they fog up and sometimes freeze. Um, That's pretty much the only problem that I have with the sunglasses uh, that I wear, which are the Tifosi slips. Uh, I reviewed them in the last episode of Second Opinion, so you can go check that out uh, if you want to at thenexus.tv slash SO84. Um, but, you know, I, I, I've i heard that uh, ski goggles, you know, they, they are built specifically to not fog up, and, uh, and so I was hoping to find some ski goggles that could help me um, fix the problem that I have with uh, my my sunglasses fogging up. So there's basically two different approaches that I identified that I could take uh, for getting some ski goggles. Um, number one, I could either get ski goggles with interchangeable lenses, just like my sunglasses, um, which would allow me to wear these su- ski goggles uh, during the day or at night, right? I could like switch out between some polarized lenses and some clear lenses um, in order to, you know, catch different, uh, different scenarios, different lighting contexts. Um, or, because my sunglasses already have interchangeable lenses, I could find some ski goggles that fit over my sunglasses, and then uh, I would just have this one pair of ski goggles that I wear all the time over my sunglasses, and then I would change out the lenses on my sunglasses depending on what the lighting conditions currently are. The Smith Knowledge OTG ski goggles uh, fit into that second category. OTG stands for over the glasses, so they are specifically designed to uh, fit over some sunglasses. So let's talk about the fit there for a moment. Um, I found that they feel pretty comfortable when I am wearing them over my sunglasses. Um, the strap doesn't interfere with like my bike helmet uh, in any way. It fits nicely underneath it. The uh, goggles themselves also uh, fit on my face nicely, you know, beneath my uh, bike helmet and also over the uh, the glasses. Um, however, if I tried to wear the ski goggles without my sunglasses on, that would result in the ski goggles kind of pressing down uncomfortably like on the bridge of my nose. Um, I do kind of have a, a rather prominent bridge to my nose, but um, yeah, this, this these ski goggles are definitely uh, specifically designed to go over sunglasses or over, over um, prescription glasses, I suppose, uh, and they don't really work as well if you're not wearing glasses. So I bought these to reduce the fogging on my sunglasses. How well do they do that job? Well, the goggles themselves don't fog up ever, whether I'm wearing sunglasses or not. However, when I'm wearing sunglasses underneath the Smith Knowledge OTGs, my sunglasses fog up more than they did when I'm not wearing ski goggles, which is disappointing as heck. Like, I tried several different, uh, you know, like, fits. Um, I adjusted the the ski goggles around a little bit. They have little vents up in the top, you know, so I rode a few times with the vents closed, with the vents open. Nothing really helped. Um, my, my sunglasses were almost always fogging up when I tried to wear them underneath these uh, ski goggles. And, like, this is disappointing as heck because that is literally the one job that I bought these uh, these ski goggles for. Fortunately, I have other options, right? Um, I actually ended up just returning these uh, ski goggles because they didn't do what I, what I wanted them to do. Um, if you have, like, prescription glasses and you, you know, don't have, like... Like, you, you don't have the option of either taking off your glasses or, you know, vice versa. Like, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know what kinds of solutions to come up with for that case. Um, for me, you know, I could go and find, uh, you know, a pair of ski goggles that have, like, interchangeable lenses and then leave my sunglasses at home during the winter. But that's kind of prohibitively expensive for me because, um, the, you know, these, these uh, Smith Knowledge 
sun or ski goggles were already like 80 some dollars. Um, and, uh, I'm not prepared to, you know, buy, uh, a pair of ski goggles that are like way more expensive than that, that have interchangeable lenses and everything. Um, so I think what my solution is just going to be to just wear my sunglasses and, uh, and I'll just have to take them off of my face whenever I, uh, come to like a stoplight or whatever, because like my, my sunglasses don't fog up all the time. Um, when I'm riding and I'm moving, it's not so much a problem, but then, uh, whenever I have to stop, right, that's when like the, the condensation, the, the perspiration from my mouth and my nose, that's when it travels up, uh, into the glasses and fogs them up and sometimes freezes. Um, so as long as I just like, take the sunglasses off of my face whenever I have to stop, then it's not really a problem. So I think that's going to be my solution for myself. Um, but again, like if you have prescription glasses, um, I don't really know uh, what advice to give you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which is thenexus.tv slash SO85. If you would like to discuss this episode with other listeners, you can do so on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash thenexustv. And if you are willing and able to support us financially as we continue to make technology-focused podcasts, you can do so on our Patreon at patreon.com slash thenexustv. Until next time, have a good one.